Okay, so what we're gonna do today is we're gonna talk a little bit about the advanced shifter module for the Fanatec Formula One wheel. It does go on other wheels, but I believe, I have to verify, to exploit it for what it's good for, you have to have this center mounted uh, switch. And you can see as you switch through, it gives you different options. So what's very cool about this is from the purpose of racing, launching a Formula One car, you have the ability to set a clutch bite point. You can see it variable there. So what you would do is you go to a dry surface, you'd figure out what, uh, what your launch would be like, and you can actually dial it in. I'll do a video on how to adjust that properly. So effectively you sit there full depress, and when you release, it releases exactly the right level to get the best launch out of your Formula One car. Another thing it does is, of course, it has magnetic shifters, which do not use springs at all. They're very, very, very clicky and very satisfying to use. These are on a short throw, so they're actually quite difficult to pull, but it, when it does go, it's very instantaneous, which is really, really good. And then there's a second setup here. You can use the middle ones for your up and down shift, and then you can use the upper ones for whatever you like. Perhaps it's pit speed, uh, it could be DRS, like why you'd want it back there, who knows, anyways. And most importantly though, is down here, the analogs. These are sprung, they're not magnetic. And what those will let you do, like I said, is the clutch uh, launch. But let's say you're driving and you wanted to take your foot off the pedal. If you have it set on this, then you have brake and throttle. And you can actually see them working on the screen as if they were pedals. And to show you, I'll push the pedal and then I'll pull this and it's the same thing. And whichever one is pushed further is the one that's gonna register. So if you had this set to 50, but you pulled this to 85, then this is 85, but it'll never go below 50. And it's the same thing with brake. You push brake. Anyways, now why I think this is really nice is I know some disabled friends, uh, they were injured during the war and they want to race. They've lost the ability to use their legs. I don't think that, how can I say this? It gives them an opportunity to play. And I think over time, you could be just as effective using your throttle on your steering wheel. But uh, another thing, like I said, is if you're coming into pit and you just want to take your feet off the, uh, the pads to give them a break, you could theoretically act, you know, avoid an accident by pulling brake very, very hard. Another thing it'll let you do is it'll give you a clutch and handbrake. So there's clutch and handbrake. You can see pull handbrake and it's the same thing, push clutch and push clutch. So it just gives you options. Is it gonna change your life? No, and it is quite expensive, but uh, on this wheel, I wanted to test it out and see what it was all about. Now, on the wheel also is a set of pineapple grips. They're a little bit chunkier and you guys can stay tuned for a video about that. Uh, these are customized. They're all the way from the UK and they feel fantastic. And I think that it's actually, uh, it's size difference has improved my uh, longevity on a race. If I'm playing like 45 minutes, my hands don't get as tired as fast. So that's that. I hope you uh, enjoyed this little video. This is like Nupifier 2 channel. Uh, it's a teaser for what's coming. I'll show you exactly what's going on with this whole wheel. I'll show you what's going on with the shifter. I'll show you how to install pineapple grips and talk about their cover and their whole ecosystem. So thanks very much for spending your time with me. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, don't forget, ask any questions you want uh, me to look into because I basically have all the gear. So if you have a specific question about something, let me know, okay?